right, fans, another big match coming up. This one for the IPW television title. And here you see a guy normally goes after the hardcore belt, but he's going for the television title tonight along with the hardcore princess. It's chaos. And here comes your champion, one of the most popular guys very quickly here in IPW, your current television champion, Dr. Heresy. And you see the beautiful new IPW television title created by Joe Price, one of the best wrestling belt makers in the entire business. Everybody talks about Reggie Parks, and you're right, Reggie does great work. We've got some of the belts from IPW, but Joe Price, oh my God, so much for Joe Price and his belt. Yeah, Dr. Jersey just gets nutshotted and a huge, huge suplex out of the back of his neck. That might be it already, but Chaos don't seem to be in any hurry. No, Chaos, he doesn't. the hardcore legend of IPW, now fighting for the IPW television title. I don't know if he cares about the belt. I know he don't like Dr. Heresy, and he wants to hurt him. I didn't know he didn't like Dr. Heresy, but it doesn't surprise me because Chaos doesn't like too many individuals here in IPW or just in life in general. And the beginning of this match shows you why you don't turn your back on anybody in this sport, much less here in IPW and certainly much less on a madman like Chaos. He takes it as a sign of disrespect, and he's making Dr. Heresy pay for that disrespect right now. Look at that double chop right to the throat, and Dr. Heresy he has to be wondering what he got himself into. He's fought some big rugged individuals like the ODD. He's fought some big rugged individuals like Rastaman. But nobody just has that maniacal, twisted mind like Chaos. You look at Chaos and you wonder how the hardcore princess can even get along with this guy enough to stay in the corner of him. He takes tape off of his wrist, wraps it around the face of Dr. Heresy, and proceeds to try to rip his mouth and face apart. Like I was saying, the hardcore princess, I'm not even sure she gets along with him. I'm not sure that they like each other one bit. She's one of the biggest bitches in the entire business, and that's a fact. Chaos is one of the most violent, disgusting pieces of garbage that you could ever find in the business. They're a match made in hell. They are perfect for each other. Nobody else wants to be around them. Sure, the Hardcore Princess is one hot piece of ass, but that's got nothing to do with what I'm talking about whatsoever, Eric. It sure doesn't, Ron. Let me tell you something. Take nothing away from the Hardcore Princess, because she certainly has grown her ability by leaps and bounds here in the last few weeks in IPW, but it seems like ever since she's been associated with Chaos, things aren't going as normal. Oh! Huge backdrop just lands Dr. Heresy right there on the ring, on the outside ramp. And like you said before, Ron Nimi, that ramp is becoming one hell of an offensive weapon here in IPW. We saw Billy Fives take the plunge onto it last week in his title defense against Mike Shane. And there Dr. Heresy takes the worst of it while he's facing chaos. Then he gets leveled with a DDT quickly becoming one of the biggest maneuvers in Chaos's arsenal. Oh, and here comes Snow with his gimmick there. The freak show Snow, as I like to call him. Oh, and he puts an elbow right into the gut of Chaos. Oh, schoolboy, too. What the, his shoulders were down, Jim Bragg. You're starting to show you're 80 years of age. But nonetheless, the winner of the match and keeping the television title is Dr. Heresy. But more importantly right now is what's going on in the ring. Here comes Rick Thames out of nowhere. Now first snow beating on Chaos. Now Rick Thames. I tell you, this guy's made a lot of enemies. Guys just want to come in out of the back and get their hands on Chaos. They, Rick Thames is like Chaos. He just likes to rumble. And oh, look, a big dumbbell right upside his head. Ron, this is more insane than even we've seen here in IPW in a long, long time. Other than Chaos, who the hell do you know? that can get leveled with a dumbbell right to their head and come back firing. This guy's got nothing in his head to hurt. His brains have been turned to mush a long time ago from feuds with people like Rick Thames, Jeff Bradley, everybody else that he's warred with. He's in negotiations to go on a huge tour to Japan, but right now at the Florida WrestlePlex, himself and Rick Thames are tearing each other apart right in the middle of the crowd who are sitting back hoping that they don't get in the middle of this and get destroyed. Concession boys Oh, there, yes. Oh my God, <laughs> like, please, please, Rick. I, it, 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 <laughs> yeah. I, I've been waiting a long time. Oh, that. put that away. Oh my God, does he actually have hair on his back leading down to his ass? It looks that way. A little happy trail for Snow, if you will. And when did Snow start looking like Dusty Rhodes? I have no idea. He comes out here with his visor, his yellow shirt that's splattered in blood from many, many wars. And Shannon Rose, who's had this sick sexual fascination with Snow, comes in the ring after getting shoved down by the face by Rick Thames. And I heard that he has some gift for Snow tonight. I don't know how much of a gift it is. I don't think he's actually too happy with the situation. A little bit of jealousy going on. And here we've got the trailer park trash pimp. I forget his actual working name there. Coming to the ring, leading this new guy. He used to be Scotty Hotshot. You've seen him here before in IPW. But I understand now he's associated with Snow. He goes by a, a little bit more risque name, if you will, Ron. 
BJ Hot Pants, making his debut in IPW Hardcore Wrestling, looking as gay, as queer as a $3 bill, and Snow sits in the corner, please arouse, and the Pimp Daddy, the Trailer Park Pimp Daddy, making his living in Pinellas Park, Florida. He's gonna get paid off for selling BJ Hot Pants' to snow. You know that you've got it rough in the prostitution business when you've resorted to selling gay wrestlers to 400 pound homosexual wrestlers. And Shannon Rose looks disgusted, dismayed, jealous, and downright heartbroken by Snow taking this new love interest in BJ Hot Pants. I tell you what, if BJ Hot Pants had gone into his Tough Enough auditions in this little outfit, we may be seeing him in the second season of Tough Enough, but instead we're lucky enough to have him here in IPW. And I understand, Ron, these guys have a very special name for their tag team. 69 degrees from what I understand. Yes, that should be interesting. Obviously a homosexual boy band reference. And look, what, what, what are they doing there? Drinking shots of eggnog in the ring? I'm not even gonna speculate oh! what that is. I'm not even gonna speculate what that is that he just spit in the face of Shannon Rose, who's crawling around like he just got hit by Muda's mist. It looks like a whiter version, a hell of a lot protein more based than Muda's version was. I don't like it, Aaron. All right, fans, we'll be back.